Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over filtering session recordings. Session recordings are an extremely powerful way for analyzing how users are using your product, but they do have a lot of information. Finding the ones with the events, the page views, the behavior that you want uh, can be difficult. Luckily, PostHog has many tools for filtering session recordings to find that information you want. And this tutorial is going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that session recordings are enabled. So we're going to go to project settings and then scroll down to recordings and you'll want to make sure that this record user session button is enabled. You'll also need to have the PostHog snippet or the latest version of PostHog JS installed on your site. Uh, this makes sure that PostHog is able to record user sessions and you're able to filter for them and see them. So next, inside your session recording tab, we're going to start filtering for sessions. I've started by filtering for only sessions that I have done because there is some sensitive information here and it's just easier if we show off the filtering capabilities on my sessions. So first, we're going to filter by an event. You can also filter by actions. To do this, just open up the filter bar here um, search for the action or event you want. So we're going to do insight viewed. And then we'll get a list of recordings where I viewed an insight. So we're going to pick this one here. It's an hour and 57 minutes long, which is quite long. And we just want to see the part where I viewed the insight. So to make sure this happens, we'll just use the only show matching events button. And this will just show the events where I viewed insights. So I can click here. It looks like I've only viewed insights at the beginning. So we can watch my insight viewing and then it will just skip the inactivity and go through the rest of the recording. So I can also remove this and just look up areas where I've dealt with insights. So you see that some I viewed insights, I've loaded some and I've even analyzed one. So yeah, that's kind of how you filter for specific events or actions. Next, we can further filter actions or events by using the, the property filter. We can even filter by feature flags, which is what we'll do here. So to do this, we'll just add a filter. We'll wait for the filters to load here. We have a feature flag. We have a sign up form experiment. We'll click this. We'll click test and then we'll wait for it to load again. So once this is done loading, um, we'll see some sessions where the feature flag was called. So we have this quite long 15 hour session um, here that we can click on. We can again look for the matching events. So we'll see six minutes in, we have a matching event. This event um, was called with that feature flag active. Uh, we can also use other types of filters. So if you have any event properties you'd like to use, like current URLs or referring domains, uh, you can also use those to filter for session recordings. So on top of filtering for events, we can continue to filter by persons or cohorts. So I've already filtered for my email, but we can also add different person properties such as location or OS. So if you'd only like to see page views from certain devices, then you can do that on here as well. We also have the option for you to quick filter for those options. So popular options like browser, you can just click here and we'll filter for sessions only on Chrome. I'm on desktop, I'm using a Mac. So if I had different sessions, like if I was using my phone, then you could filter for different sessions here quickly by just clicking on this button and it will add a filter for a page view on Mac. So last but not least, we can also filter by date and time. So up here in the top right corner, you'll see that we're filtering for session recordings November 14th until now, but we can also filter for session recordings in the last seven days, the last 24 hours, or, or kind of any customized date range you want. We're also filtering for sessions that are longer than a minute, but we can also have less than a minute or a variety of different seconds, any amount of time you'd like. So if you'd like to look at longer recordings, shorter recordings, you can do that here. So that gave you a little bit of an overview of some different ways you can filter session recordings to find the ones that you're looking for. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below uh, or join our Slack community at posttalk.com slash Slack. 
You can also find more tutorials like this at posthog.com slash tutorials. Thanks for watching. Thank you.